What is good, everybody? Charlene FX, your favorite female trader, back with another banger. So, we are trading AU, right? Had a good, good week on AU today. Uh, I'm sorry, not today, yesterday. Yesterday had a good day on AU. As you can see here, this was the setup that we caught. Uh, see if I can get the picture up here. Yeah, this was pretty much the trade that we caught. Um, good setup, good setup. I was in about, what, 15 pips drawdown, I think, on this setup. Um, so it was kind of a risky trade, but um, came out came out on top because I, I held on to my bias. Uh, which is which was buys which was buys now as, as you guys can see the market dropped today today was nfp friday so didn't take any trades on this pair today uh, market just tanked which was good for us starting because that's what i did trade and i ended up winning on that pair but this pair um wasn't sure what it was gonna do um still looking for buys above this area that was holding here uh it did push down with nfp news and it's now pushing right back up inside this area so who knows the my overall analysis for buys to continue pushing might actually play out so we'll see um before i get into the full breakdown of this simple trade that i caught uh the other day i'm gonna be doing a live account giveaway and that's gonna be with my broker which is henkel trade they're the ones that uh, sponsor all of my videos they're an excellent broker i've been using them for several years now i have several accounts with them and um we decided to partner up and go ahead and do a live account giveaway so that's what i'm going to be doing with um with these next like two months so because december is a choppy month for trading you know the volume slows down um there's not a lot going on in the markets i'm going to extend it from december all the way into um january potentially into um february to give everybody enough time to actually be able to enter into the giveaway so basically what it is is i'm going to be giving away a live account to someone who signs up with the link in the description box of this video so just look below in the description box and you'll see all the links to all of my products there sign up for a live account has to be a live account fund it with at least a hundred dollars and trade it and trade it with consistency trade it with discipline right try to trade one or two pairs try to trade one or two sessions one or two trades a day that's it i don't care what your risk reward is i don't care you know about any of that i just want to see discipline and i just want to see consistency within your trading and that's what i'm going to be looking for when i select a winner it doesn't have to be any kind of account build obviously that's the point is to be profitable and to build up the account as much as you can however i'm not looking for that specifically because if i say account build a lot of people will over leverage over trade and just try to grow it as much as they can and thus might end up blowing the account which i don't want you to do so this is just to instill a level of discipline within you guys and to help you guys make a little bit of money, have a little bit more wiggle room to play with your account. All right. So go ahead and sign up with the link below. Go ahead and get an ECN account. Your leverage is going to be 500 to one. That's the one that I recommend. Load it with at least $100. And any currency that you trade, indice that you trade, uh, crypto that you trade, it's all there. Right. GJ, UJ, uh, Nas 100, gold. Uh, US 30, uh, AU, AJ, NZD, JPY, every pair that you trade, they have everything there. They have a chat box here that you can talk to somebody if you should need. Um, everything you need is there, guys. So just sign up with them, and they also have very fast withdrawals. You can withdraw your money, guys. If you build up the account enough and you feel like you want to take something out, you're more than welcome to do that. I don't care uh, what the account looks like after the fact. I just want to see the consistency, and that is how I'm going to be picking the winner. And there may be more than one winner, so I want to give a lot of people a chance. This giveaway is going to be for my YouTube family. I did a giveaway for my Instagram, and now I'm doing one for my YouTube for all the love and support that I've gotten from you guys and the amount of growth that I've seen on my channel as well. So I just want to say, extend a very heartfelt thank you to all of you for all the support, and I really absolutely appreciate everything, guys. All right, so let's get into this breakdown here, right? Let's talk about AU real quick and see if there's, hmm, no, there's no real tough explanation to this. It was a very simple trade. I'm going to keep it, keep it above with you guys. It was a very, very simple trade. All right, so if we go to the four-hour time frame, I'll tell you guys exactly what I was looking for. And this is similar to the, the, the setup that I caught on 
uh, US 30 today after NFP news. It was basically price had broke a major level of resistance. I was waiting for price to retest support and then to take off to make a new high. So it was a pretty much uh, basic, ex uh, basic analysis pretty much. And as you guys can see, um, the markup that I have on my chart here is pretty much all I had, okay? You wanna look at your higher time frames because your higher time frames are gonna give you the most confirmations for you to be able to safely execute on a trade with the right directional bias. So basically I was looking for buys on this setup here. I did not anticipate the ranging that took place up here. However, I put potentially should have because it is NFP week and NFP week oftentimes pairs will tend to to range a little bit because it's setting up for that gigantic move that it's about to make for NFP so it actually makes sense that price actually did that that kind of got away from me a little bit because I don't often I almost never trade NFP and I did it today <laughs> I traded after the news event was over but um, you got to keep that in mind. So NFP week, choppy week. I mean, you can you can catch setups during the week. It's not saying you can't catch any setups, but you just have to be careful. And as a scalper, you definitely want to be in and out of the trade so that you don't get caught in, in anything stupid. All right. So basically, a, a, a U had excellent market structure here. As you guys can see, we were holding support down in this area here. Price had begun to break above with this big bullish move, breaking structure completely and reversing the trend. Price made a high, made a low, tested the previous high that it made, came down and made a higher low, and then eventually pushed up and made a higher high. So once price made a higher high, all I was looking for was the retest to be completed, give me some uh, rejection exhaustion areas to validate the newfound level of support, and then take the move all the way up. We got into this trade, right around this area here sat in a little bit of drawdown and eventually price started pushing we did push up we wicked out we came down pushed up again and eventually price ended up hitting our tp like to the t almost um which is not bad at all so sat in a little bit of drawdown maybe about mm, 20 30 minutes or so of drawdown and then after that price eventually took off in uh, profit which was excellent um i was anticipating price to continue up here but it did not do that if you guys look here you'll see price it was maintaining a level of resistance right around this area here we tried to hold above and then with nfp news price just dumped came right back into our key level here and then showed a bunch of exhaustion and now it's pushing right back into this level so for next week as long as price stays above this level here of support i am definitely looking for buys especially with this um NFP news that had been able to continue down. It just tested and now it's pushing all the way back up. So if it stays above this level here, uh, directional bias is pretty much cut and dry at that point. And then the bias is gonna remain the same for the buys to continue. And if you wanna catch the buys at a continuation, you obviously wanna enter price at a low so that you can have the best risk to reward. All right guys, so that's pr pretty much it. I mean, not much to really go into. Um, I don't complicate my trading guys as you guys can see I don't I keep it as simple as possible I try to trade strictly with price action. I do use um, Indicators such as Fibonacci for now, but sometimes um, you don't need it Sometimes, you know, you can go back to the basics and just trade um, just using um, price action and candlestick analysis so if you are you know knowledgeable in the way the market moves and you understand market structure you understand um, how to get the proper directional bias you understand how to mark off your support and resistance levels and you know what to look for you understand the exhaustion areas you know when news is coming out you know when to get in when to get out and stuff like that these are all things that all play hand in hand together so if you're able to put all those things together you can be a profitable trader you just have to have a level of discipline because even though I had the directional bias for bias for price to continue bullish I have to be confident in what I want to see happen because I said if price held this level of support I was only looking for buys I only look for price to push up if price starts to push back down obviously it's not it's not there right but if you see a whole bunch of candles forming here and there none of them are are breaking that level of support there then obviously something there price doesn't go one way it's gonna go the other Okay, either it's going to go up, it's going to go down, or it's going to go sideways. But it can't go sideways forever. It has to move at some point, right? So you want to be on the right side of the trade when it does do that. Now, if you're not comfortable entering the market in, in like, a consolidation area like this where you, you're not, you know, comfortable and you feel like the market could go against you, then you can just wait for an added confirmation. Like, you can wait for an engulfing. You can wait for a new high to be formed. You can break out a fib, a fib or um, whatever, whatever it takes, takes for you to have... have 
that level of comfortability to where you can enter the market safely, you know, drop your trade in there and then let it ride out. You know what I mean? So if you're able to do that, guys, like I said, you can be a very profitable trader. It's not difficult at all. Um, it's only difficult if you make it this difficult and it's only difficult if you stand in your own way. And by standing in your own way, I mean things like over trading. I mean things like revenge trading, um, over leveraging, you know, all those bad habits that have nothing to do with trading. It has everything to do with you and how you feel about yourself uh, and your level of discipline within the charts. You know, don't try to hit a home run every day, guys. I did not hold my trade all the way to my full TP. I actually got out before it hit full TP, but that was because I was okay with my profits. Do you have to hold to full TP sometimes? No, you don't have to. You're just trying to get the win. You're just trying to get the win. Not saying you want to get in and grab one or two pips. Don't do that because, you know, you're defeating the purpose. But at the same time, you got to learn to take what the market gives you and then come back and do it again. It's wash, rinse, repeat. That's all it is. Wash, rinse, repeat. If you're able to do that, you can find consistency. Take profit, come back tomorrow and do it again. Get in the market, take profit, come back and do it again. Do not try to take every pip you can and catch every single move, every single candle, every single wick. It's not going to happen. You're going to leave money on the table. You're going to have bad entries. You're going to have to endure a drawdown. You're, these are things you have to endure. These are the things that come with all the joys and all the benefits of trading. There's an there's a, there's a other side of it, too, that you have to take into account. So if you, can, if you can manage that part, you can be an excellent trader. All right? And AU is not a very volatile pair. Um, it moves kind of slow, but when it does move, it does move. You can catch setups in it just about every day. It's an ex exceptionally good pair to trade during New York session. Obviously, it's, an a it's a USD pair, so it moves during New York. It moves during London. It also moves during uh, Asian session, so you can pretty much trade it at any time. If you're trading it during Asian session, though, just know that it moves super slow during that session, and it only like gives you one good setup. Uh, it's very rare that I see AU move during that session and it gives you a bunch of setups it usually doesn't because it moves so slow uh, i used to trade asian session i don't anymore now i only trade um new york session because it has the best volume and it works best with my schedule so you want to center your trading around your schedule or what works best for you so you know if you're working nine to five obviously new york doesn't work if you you know have kids to get ready for school in the morning obviously new york doesn't work so you have to trade other pairs like London or you got to trade Asian, but you got to find a way to make it work around your schedule so that you don't stress yourself out at the same time. All right. The downside to that trading, guys, is just that majority of us are out and about during the normal daytime hours. Uh, if you live, you know, in the States, you know, now if you're overseas and stuff like that, you guys have kind of an advantage with that. But for the most part, it can be done. You just have to manage your time properly and then be disciplined with your trading time as well i get a lot of questions guys about you know how did you work your full-time job and trade at the same time um it's not hard you just have to manage your time properly i don't care if i was married with six kids i was gonna find a way to make it work when you really want something bad enough and you really want something to work out for you you make the time you make a way to make it happen for you i don't care if it's only 30 minutes a day that you can devote to it as long as you're giving it your all, you're giving it your best. And in that time that you're devoting to it, you are 100% focused and you're giving it your undivided attention. Because this type of craft is what it requires. You cannot play with this. It's not a game. So if you're here in this game and you want to learn and you want to make money and you want to be successful at it, you got to treat it like a business. Treat it like a job. Treat it like it's your livelihood. Treat it like it's for real because it is. Okay? That's the best advice I could give you when it comes to, to stuff like that. But at the same time, it's a great feeling. I mean, um, I think I was in this trade for like two hours, I think. Because we got in around like 7.30ish, 7.38. And I got out on this candle. So yeah, I was in this trade for uh, less than an hour, right? Less than an hour I was in this trade for. Took profit and got out. And that was it. So some days... You're going to be on the charts for a couple hours, some days, a couple minutes. That's just the nature of the game. But either way, um, you're making really good money with this skill. So take it seriously. Treat it as such. And uh, and you're going to reap the benefits. All right, guys. So I hope you guys learned something out of this video. I know I didn't give much of a breakdown, but that's because there wasn't much to give. 
in the ways of a breakdown because it was a very simple, simple uh, strategy that I used to trade. If you're interested in learning how to trade like I do, if you're interested into my one-on-one -on -one sessions and such, take a look at the link in the description down below because that's where all my information is, my course, my signals, my breakdowns, uh, one-on-ones, everything. My Instagram is charlenefx. Uh, just shoot me a DM or follow, give me a follow. My uh, TikTok is charlenefx as well. Um, I'm very accessible, guys. I listen, I watch all of my uh, comments. I read all the comments. I don't always respond to all of them, but um, I'm very uh, hands-on with my content material and my followers, and I like to know what people want to see. I like to put out things that are actually going to help you level up and help you actually, you know, step your game up when it comes to uh, your trading skills and things like that. So, anyway, I've talked enough. <laughs> Thank you guys so much uh, for watching this video. Yeah, drop a like, drop a comment, give me a follow on Instagram. And um, until the next one, we'll be back for the next week. Holidays are coming up. I'm not going to be trading much for the holidays, so we'll see. Probably next week will be the last week that I'll be taking uh, live trades. And then after that, I'll probably just be uh, on the sidelines watching, watching the market, see what they do. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.